fretboard radius blocks. That's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to show you some of the ones that I use and where you can get them. I'm Jeff, you're watching Home Built Workshop. Ah, the radius blocks. Radius blocks are an essential tool for luthiers and guitar builders the world over. You've probably seen them a million times before. They're used for sanding a radius into the fretboard. They come in all different radiuses depending on what radius you prefer. Some are a little bit tighter radius, a little more vintage feel. Some are a, a lot larger radius for that more modern type feel. And the size that you like is your personal preference. Now, even if you do your radiusing on something like a CNC machine or some sort of a router jig, most likely you're still gonna need to finish sand the radius on your fretboard with some sort of a sanding block. And a radius block is, in my opinion, one of the easiest ways to get that done. I've collected here just a few of the radius blocks that I use. I wanna take a minute and go through the process and how I like to use them. Up until recently, I've used just these shorter 8-inch radius blocks to radius my fretboards, but my preference is to use a great big long radius block that covers most, if not all, of the entire fretboard. Enter these awesome orange radius blocks made by my buddy Greg over at Skyscraper Guitars. These things are 20 inches long, they're made out of extruded aluminum, and they have this awesome orange anodized finish on here. They just look sweet. I like to use these to begin my process. The main reason is that I can cover the entire fretboard when I'm radiusing. I like to start out with like an 80 grit or maybe even coarser depending on the wood you're using. That way I can establish the initial radius on my fretboard all at once. When you use a short sanding block, to radius your fretboard, you're technically sanding the center almost twice as much as you're sanding either end because as you move, say, from the nut end of the fretboard to the heel, you're always going across that center. So really it gets sanded a lot more. And by using a longer radius block, you can cover the entire surface almost in one pass. I honestly would like one that's about 24 inches long for that exact reason. But these 20 inch ones work great. You can get these from some of the other manufacturers, make longer blocks as well. But I think these are my favorite because they just look awesome compared to some of the other ones. So I will begin my process using a long block and relatively short sanding strokes. That way I can try to sand everything as even and as accurately as possible. This helps get the initial radius established. And if you guys want to check out Skyscraper Guitars, I'm going to put a link down below in the description. I'm not affiliated. I don't get any kickback from here, but I personally know Greg and I really believe in his products. These things are awesome. So go check them out. You won't be disappointed. Now, ideally I'd like to have all of these longer blocks but that can get a little bit expensive as well as kind of hard to store because in my process i like to have multiple blocks depending on the grid of sandpaper that i'm using now there's no reason you can't just peel off the sandpaper stick on the next grit keep going repeating that process but a lot of times when that happens your sandpaper is not completely worn out so once you peel it off, then you got to figure out what the heck you're going to do with it. How are you going to try to save it for next time without it getting covered in dust and losing all the self-adhesive stickiness? <laughs> Technical term. So the process that works for me is to have multiple blocks for each grit of sandpaper. Now, the most common one that probably most of you have seen would be just this standard wooden block. These are typically made out of like a hard maple or some other type of hardwood and it's the same exact principle. You stick your sandpaper on there and you go to town sanding. Given the fact that I like to have multiples, again, if you have to buy these, they're still going to get a little bit expensive over time. If you have multiple blocks for each different radius, it's going to be a lot of blocks. A solution to that problem for me was to design my own. These are 3D printed radius blocks. I designed these completely from scratch myself so that I could print off 
as many blocks as I needed and in whatever radius I needed. I've got these modeled up for all the different radiuses that are available on the market and there's even the option to do custom radiuses if I ever needed something that wasn't available. Another advantage to being able to 3D print them is I can color code them based on the size. Makes it a little easier to find in the drawer of radius blocks. This one here in blue is a 15 inch radius. This one here is a 16 inch radius. When I need more, I'll just load up for me anyway the green filament and print off another 16 inch block. Here's a 12 inch radius that I have in this kind of coppery color. Really, the sky's the limit. You can print it in whatever color you want, in whatever radius you want. Now you might be thinking, 3D printed? There's no way that's gonna be solid enough. Well, I have had several people test these out in their own shops, and I've never had an issue with anything coming apart or breaking in half. They're really strong. <clears throat> yeah, I can't, I can't even, I can't even flex it. I'm not trying to flex on you. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> oh boy, let's move on. Really the only issue that I've ever had, and it's not really an issue, is that sometimes the sticky back sandpaper doesn't want to stick too good to this. So I've had to clean this off with some isopropyl alcohol to try to get it to stick a little bit better. I think that's gonna depend on the type of filament that you use. These are all printed with just standard PLA filament. I haven't used any sort of ABS or any other filament, just regular PLA and it works fine. But that's really about the only issue that I've had is sometimes, depending on the brand, I've had to take extra measures to get it to stick really well, but overall, they're nice and rigid, they're super light, and I have not experienced any sort of warping. So, with that being said, I would like to let you all know that if you would like to try these, I have started an Etsy shop. This is going to be listed on there, links down below, if you want to check them out. I hope this little overview of the radius blocks that I use was maybe a little bit helpful. If you are looking to buy some commercially available ones, I highly recommend checking out the Skyscraper Guitars line of radius blocks. There's these long ones, there's some shorter ones in there as well, in all the different radiuses. These things are awesome. I highly recommend them. Of course, if you want to buy the wooden ones, you don't have to look very hard to find these. And if you want to try my 3D printed ones and you have a 3D printer, I do have the STL files now available in an Etsy shop. Links down below in the description. You can check out the Etsy shop and purchase the STL files for these. They're available as an instant download. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time. Uh -oh.